Welcome back to the Conference USA Tip-Off Show. I'm John Schriffen, joined by Rice men's basketball head coach Scott Perra. And coach, when you look at the way the program has progressed, this is now your sixth season, how do you feel like Rice has grown since you've been here? Wow. I mean, you know, we're really happy, you know, with this, this kind of the state of the program and where we're at right now. You know, we've grown every year. Uh, we've increased our wins every year. I think we've got better overall in terms of talent e each year. You know, and, and even if you look at last year, you know, under a microscope, you see that we were 13 and 8 and, and had just beaten Middle Tennessee and UAB and uh, before Quincy Oliveri got hurt and lost for the season. So even though we ended up 16 and 17, I think we were well on our way to a 20 win season. So, but you can only control what you can control. We're excited about what we have coming up this year and we're looking forward to it. Preseason poll, your pick seventh. How do you guys get to that mark of that 20 wins? What's going to get you over the hump this season? Well, I think, first of all, you know, you got to get off to a good start. And, you know, we have a very difficult uh, t test out of the gate, you know, going to Pepperdine and then playing a league game so early at Middle Tennessee. But we want to, you know, get off to a good start in the, in the preseason. And then the other key to getting to that number, you know, 18, 20, whatever it is, is winning at home. Uh, you got to take care of winning your games at home. We've been pretty good at home over the last couple of years, and hopefully that'll continue. Let's talk about your team you've got coming back. You have three starters returning. Walk us through them, what kind of improvements they've made this offseason, and the other key returners who are going to play a factor. Well, obviously, you know, Max, Travis, and Quincy, we're going to lean on heavily. You know, these are three guys that have played a lot of college basketball, and they're experienced guys. They've started a ton of games for us. Each of them are unique in their skill set. And uh, for us to get to that mark we talked about, you know, finishing above seventh or, or talking about trying to win 20 games, those three guys have to show up every night. How would you define or explain your style of play you want to implement on the court at Rice? Well, you know, we've really emphasized pushing the ball and trying to play fast. We've been in, uh, you know, top five in scoring. I think last year we were fourth out of 14 teams. Uh, averaging 74 a game. We shoot a lot of threes. We spread the floor. You know, we've come up with our little fun, fun hashtag green light you kind of giving guys freedom to make plays, you know, and that's who we are. And, and our guys like playing that way. We like coaching that way. And, uh, you know, it's been it's been a good, uh, good uh, combination for us. OK, green light you. We got to dig into that a little more. Does that mean <laughs> a guy can basically pull up from wherever he wants? Well, it depends who the guy is. Um, <laughs> you you got to earn you got to earn the green light uh, in a way. But I also don't want guys looking over their shoulder. I want them to play with freedom. I want them to have you know they know that I give them the confidence to make plays and to be players, and that's kind of where it stems from. But you know, some 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 lights are a little greener than than, than others. I will say that. <laughs> uh, you have a ton of new players coming into the program as well. Talk about your key freshmen as well as transfers you brought into Rice. Yeah, really excited uh, about our freshman class. You know, I think this this class of four guys really has a chance uh, to make an imprint on our program moving forward. I think even a couple of them this year could do that early on. You know, Makai Mason, uh, Andrew Acucci, um, Mason Jones, these guys are all guys that we think we can put on the floor early on, and, and we're going to, and we're going to count on them. And, uh, you know, to add depth as, as well as be guys that can contribute. And often the two transfers, too, are going to play a huge part. Alum uh, from Nevada and Siri from Kansas State, both guys that are older guys that uh, bring skill set that uh, really play to our strengths and hopefully improve us in some areas as well. Every coach does something unique in order to get all the new guys and the transfers acclimated to the system, to the culture. What have you done so far at Rice this offseason? Well, look, I'm, I, you, know, you, you said it earlier, we're entering my sixth year as the head coach. You know, I think we have a great culture here. Uh, in which the guys that we recruit, we recruit to fit those the culture that we have. And I'm, I'm really proud of the group of guys we have, our senior leadership, and, and including Jake Liebert and that with Quincy Travis and Max, and really welcome the new guys. They really do a good job of, uh, you know, hanging out together off the court, doing things, you know, whether it's uh, at my house or doing something at Top Golf or just having fun as a group. These guys have really kind of gelled uh, the way I had hoped when we recruited them. Nice. Let's dig into the schedule a little bit. Let's talk non-conference action. Talk me through those games and then walk me through your conference schedule. Well, look, you know, like I said, we're, we're going to open up on the road. Uh, anytime you open up on the road, it's hard. When you're open up on a team that is young and as talented as Pepperdine is, you know, it's a major concern, a major challenge. You know, we played them here last year. They went through a tough year, but they, they played freshmen. I know they played three really good freshmen, a ton of minutes. 
and all of those guys are really good players. And so they're going to be a big problem to start off the season out there. Um, and then, you know, the, the funkiness of this league here, we're playing 20 league games this year. we got to go to Middle Tennessee on game three. And so, you know, what they win 27 games last year, so that'll be quite a challenge as well. Uh, in terms of the other, then we go back to the non-league again. You know, we got to go to Texas. we got to go to Texas State. We have an MTE here where we'll host three games right before Thanksgiving that, that we're looking forward to as well. And then I, obviously, I also think this year's league is the toughest it's been in my nine years. Um, you go to 20 league games and you have 11 teams uh, that are all pretty good. Uh, and the top of the league is, is loaded. So it is going to be a major challenge. But we're looking forward to it. You know, we have some veteran guys and some new young talent, but uh, we're going to have to have to play very well to get our share. With so much talent in this league, do you think Conference USA gets more than one team into the big dance this year? Well, I think they certainly should. Um, I mean, what we've gone through and, and, and the teams that we played over the years, it should have been a multi-bid league, in my opinion, uh, many years. But I think this year it's got a really good chance. When you look at you know, UAB, North Texas, and Western Kentucky, the talent they have and the success they've had, you know, I can't see uh, two of those teams. You know, that one of them should be an at-large. I think down the road. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not underselling teams like La Tech or, or Florida Atlantic either, who I think also are, are very good and have a chance to be having big seasons. We're expecting and big Middle things. as well. I don't want, I don't want to leave them out either. We don't want to leave out Rice either. You guys are going to be in the mix with all the young talent you've got. Scott Parra, head coach, entering his sixth season at Rice. Good luck this year. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.